I've been pretty harsh in the game for its many flaws, but to its credit, there's a lot to see and explore in the game. No matter how much we play, some things remain a mystery. And that's why I'm taking the camera out of bounds for this video, to show off some of the scenes and areas that you never see from a different perspective. Whenever you're not getting softlocked or launched into the sky, the game is pretty cool. Let's see what sort of things we can find that were never meant to be discovered. I still do not see you. Okay, listen. You were sleeping, so I opened the stomach hatch and climbed inside. My stomach hatch? That place is reserved for oversized birthday cakes and pinatas. It is not a safe play area. Guys, Gregory's not actually in there. I'm I'm sad now. Right off the start of the game, you see Vanessa walking across the window, but you don't really know where she ends up. Why don't we find out? Not surprisingly, she just blips out of existence, and that's what happens with most cutscenes in games. As soon as the asset or whatever is out of the window, they just cease to exist. And while we're at it, here's a good look at Gregory. He's actually really well animated and has idle animations, as opposed to most first-person games where you're just seeing through their eyes. You can see Gregory through the cameras when you're looking at yourself, so I assume that's why they uh, actually gave him a functional, proper model. Here's an interesting feature I found while looking through Roxy's room. Her mirror doesn't actually work, and it's just like there's a camera behind her, also looking at the back of her head. I'm sure you are all very curious what the hell is going on in Monty's room. He's making a ton of noise. Let's see what's actually happening in here. It's completely dark in this room, so I had to raise the gamma all the way up, but... Not surprisingly, Monty's nowhere to be seen. Jesus Christ. His room is very much trashed, though. Just how we expect. And it looks the same as when you can access it later in the game. Just later in the game, you're not given the impression that Monty's in there raising hell. Now that I'm inside Freddy, just to check one more time and confirm that there isn't really a meat pretzel going on in there, Nothing. No meat pretzel to be seen. It's worth noting that the game has a glitch where all visual cutscenes default to basic brightness settings. So if you had your brightness or gamma turned up to make the game look a little lighter, it completely goes away. And same thing applies to free camming. So anytime that I'm in the free cam, the game will look considerably darker, and there doesn't seem to be anything I can do about that. Once Vanessa's done chewing out Freddy for being a bad boy and collapsing on stage, she turns around and walks past where you're hiding in the curtain. Not surprisingly, she just blips out of existence. Which is pretty obvious to the player because when they come out they'll see that there was no way she could have gone anywhere. Right before seeing Chica for the first time, there's this long hallway that's blocked off by a fence that you never get to visit as a player. Now in dark free cam, here's what it looks like. It just extends out two ways, the floor kind of just disappears, and then there's two big doors that lead to nothing. When I did a video on Poppy Playtime's Out of Bounds, the whole outside of the level was white, so it was very clear what was going on. Unfortunately, in this game, everything is dark, so while you can see the level from above, it's a lot harder to take in but it's still pretty darn cool. And here she is. Gobbling up trash. Here we meet Monty for the first time, when he smashes through the fence and begins to chase you. He hasn't shown up yet before you start the cutscene. Even when Gregory's standing right in front of the fence, no Monty. I thought it'd be kind of fun to also show what it looks like 
when one of the animatronics gets Gregory. They just kind of give him the old monch, 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 and then that's it. Here's the daycare from above in all of its beauty. I heard something about Sundrop having a room of his own, which, you know, in a way, he does. It's just missing a floor and the door leads. Wait, what the heck? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got his own hallway. Wait, whoa. Oh, I see. His door is just on the other side of this poster. I wonder if at one point you were meant to be able to get in here, but they scrapped it near the end. Once he drops in, Sundrop is nowhere to be seen in the balls. Let's look at the back of Sundrop's head, but he really is just like a circuit board with a face. In the lobby, there's an elevator under construction. Uh, you can see kind of these planks sticking out from the front of it, and sure enough, when you go inside, the planks, the rest of the planks are here. I don't know why they decided to hide them from you and only have them stick out, but yeah. The lobby also has a really cool starry dome above it. And here's what it looks like from over top. I'm pretty sure you can find these elsewhere in the game. But I just thought it was pretty cool how even though these are above the player's view, they have their own little Fazbear related names. Faz Corp Cleaning <laughs> Glass Blaster. Even though right now I'm near the daycare, so only that section of the game has loaded in. Still, Chica remains, wandering around the void. This might not come as a very big surprise, but the elevator you go through to get to the atrium doesn't actually move you. It just changes the lobby from being loaded to the atrium and spits you out the other side. You don't actually go up or down, you just go forward, and it's a free loading zone. Use an overhead view of both elevators. As you can see, they're kind of just tunnels with a waiting period in between. There is so much to see in this part of the game. The atrium is huge, and a lot of it loads in. Maybe not all the side rooms, but the majority of them. This is probably largely why the atrium is seen as the room with the most leg. There's a lot going on. It does the same thing with the giving the appearance of having a sky dome, where it's just a layer of solid black with white dots all over it, up in the rafters. In the Kid's Cove, there are a lot of these doors with big band signs over top of them. You have to load a different part of the game to see what's on the other side of these band doors, but as it turns out, it's just all of the party rooms inside of the daycare. I guess parties are banned. Most players wouldn't immediately notice upon entering this room, but this room is portrayed to be a bridge over top just a pool of tr trash with disgusting water. There's also some crudely labeled boxes here, which I found kind of cool since you'd never really see them playing the game normally. To my great dismay, the pizza bot doesn't actually exist. There is no pizza bot. It's just a floating pizza. Let's find out what Gregory sees if you take too long making his pizza. Good luck, Gregory. She never en actually enters the room, because if you were standing on the desk or something, she wouldn't have been able to get to you. Instead, she just does her kill animation on the spot, and Gregory blips out of existence. And here's a good look from above this level. Where most players get hopelessly stuck, trying to find their way out of this goddamn laundry room.
Here's a look at Vanny slowly approaching Gregory down the stairs. If you just stay inside the vent like good old Gregory's doing right now, with his butt sticking through the wall, Vanny never finds you and she'll just walk around. Also, let's see if we can't get a look inside that suit. Oh, it looks to me like there's nothing in there. I guess Vanny isn't Vanessa after all. There's a lot more to see, so I'm definitely going to cover this again and try to explore the rest of the game. If there are doors or areas you wished you could have seen better or from a different point of view, let me know in the comments. And come watch me do speedruns tomorrow on Twitch. It'll be fun.